Hi guys, this is SDJRSMF88 speaking with the first update for 2017 on the Garden Railway. Now as you know, the railway has been in action over the winter months thanks to the recent arrival of some live steam. But as you can see, the weather is now gradually improving as we're moving into British summertime. So it's time to uh, start uh, getting the railway ready to run some electrics. So without further ado, let's get into the update. As per usual for this time of year, the main uh, bit of work that he's doing to the railway is of course removing the weeds and plant life which has sprung up over the winter months from in between the rails. Now surprisingly the uh, old section of the track, uh, the original loop and the bridges and all that has, has not been affected over the winter months. There has been no weeds at all that have sprung up. Uh, of course I have removed weeds on the extension which we are looking at now uh, over the course of the, the winter period. Um, when running the live steam but they still keep on coming back at the moment and it is now this time of year which we can start treating them uh, like we did on the old section and if anything is to go by on what we did there uh, hopefully it should be a weed free zone but as you're about to see uh, the main plant that seems to be invading the rails at the moment is not weeds at all and I'll quickly show you what it is And here's that said plant, it is in fact bluebells. Now, as lovely as they are, uh, when they're in between the tracks, they are quite a pain to remove. Uh, the bulbs are quite deep. Uh, when you try to pull them out, uh, they simply snap off and leave the bulbs in the uh, track bed, which of course they grow back again. But um, we have started pulling them up and of course treating them. And I've done a bit of, uh, we've done a bit of a uh, sort of uh, soil removal around the other side. I managed to get quite a few bulbs out, which is good. Uh, but along the line side, as they are here, they are actually very, very nice. Uh, of course, we could end up calling the railway the uh, Bluebell Railway, but as we know, there is already a railway with that name. As you can see, the uh, flower bed in the centre of the rails there has a lovely sort of colony of bluebells there, as well as the uh, round by the windmill there in the distance, you can see by the suspension bridge. And I can't wait until they sort of blossom. They look really, really nice there, but when they're in the between the tracks, they are a bit of a pain. But they are gradually being removed. And um, yeah, and then hopefully uh, we'll have the trains running nice and smoothly between the bluebells here. So as you all know, in the previous update, the uh, new extension section where the siding is going to go was still incomplete. Uh, I'd put down a, a sort of a, a net to stop weeds. And I put down some hardcore as well, and of course I got the stakes in there, and I have the track temporarily laid on top, which means I could drive trains, uh, although very slowly, across the race section uh, around the new extension. Now, um, the reason for this was I hoped to uh, film a tutorial on how to lay garden railways, and that is still in the process. I've decided that it's going to be sort of a slideshow, so I'm going to take some pictures and of course do my usual voiceover and tell you on how I've, how I've done it, really. But as you can see, I'm now progressing and starting to uh, get it all ready to have the track permanently laid down. So what I've done here, uh, this was uh, a bit of a pain. Uh, as, as some of you mentioned, you mentioned to cover up this weed net as soon as possible. And I sadly never got round to it, really. There was quite a lot of uh, bad weather and other things. And, of course, it ended up uh, getting infested with weeds, which uh, have subsequently just been cleared out. Now the next uh, plan, of a, plan of attack for this area is to put down some polythene which will go over this area again so there will be two layers of wheat nets and hopefully this will stop the bluebells and other things pushing up through again. Then of course we'll have the hardcore which you can just see off to the left there uh, will be poured in and get that to the, the same height as the wooden pegs there. Uh, some more wooden pegs will go in uh, as we have this section of track here which is the new proposed siding. Now this will go here. Uh, and that will provide a nice sort of like uh, siding for locomotives and rolling stock and it sort of curves around at the end. I would like an engine shed there but um, by the looks of things I don't think I'll be able to get one in sadly but you never know maybe a future project and then basically it's just screwing down the, the points and the curve that joins back onto the loop on the original section just here and then that brings us neatly onto the wiring now, as I mentioned, I want to do some wiring here to make the wires a bit more permanent so it's a bit quicker and easier to set up when running. And my idea is going to be quite simple. 
I'm going to just simply just get some wires and uh, probably bury them in the ballast there and have like a little Tupperware box uh, hidden around the corner in a shaded area where the heads of the wires will go in there and then when I want to run the railway I just bring out my control board and simply just pull the wires out of the Tupperware tub where they're nice and dry of course and screw them into the uh, circuit board, into the um, switchboard I should say and the controller and hopefully away we go. So I guess that's all for this update. Uh, hopefully a lot more updates to come and of course the completion of the extension and hopefully tutorial as well. And I look forward to getting electric trains running again in the near future. Now as you know I recently did a video on a uh, sound carriage where I'm doing, testing a little sound carriage for some of the locos that don't have sound fitted. And I've also been, uh, well last year I did a fair bit of repainting which I still haven't got around to doing a video of. And I've got a few more carriages now that it's getting nice and sunnier and uh, the wind's sort of dying down a bit. I'll hopefully be able to get out in the garden and do a bit more respraying and respraying some of the carriages and wagons into more British coloured liveries. Uh, creating the, the, the you know, more of a British feel for the Blagden and Buckcombe Light Railway. So that's all for this update. I hope you enjoyed it. So this has been SDJ Arsenal, 88 speaking and uh, thanks for watching.